Hi everyone, welcome to Every Day, your daily stop for virtual reality content. I am D, and today we're taking a look at another game that uses the Oculus Rift in combination with the Razer Hydra. Razer Hydra tracks the position of your hands in space and orientation. And the Oculus Rift, of course, you put on your head to see everything in 3D and completely surrounding you. Now, the game we're going to be looking at is a game called Surgeon Simulator 2013 which, uh, contrary to its name, is not a very accurate surgery simulator. Um, it was created uh, as part of the 2013 Global Games Jam by uh, three employees of Bossa Studios in the UK. And um, then it was later expanded into a full game. It's been a very popular title on Steam uh, um, among indie games in the, in the recent years. And they recently added experimental support for these two devices. So. It can be used with either of the devices by themselves. Um, it, unlike games like um, like the game we saw yesterday, it doesn't require both of them to be used at the same time. So if you just have your Oculus Rift or your Razer Hydra, you can still try out kind of that part of this experience. Um, now, keep in mind that part of the appeal of Surgeon Simula Simulator 2013 is the controls are supposed to be unwieldy and clunky. And if they were to simulate the exact position of your hands in a very direct one-to-one -one mapping, very natural way, the result would be that surgery would be relatively easy, and you wouldn't be clumsily knocking things around, and it would defeat the point. So they, they actually faced a unique problem in this game of trying to have a Razor Hydra, and also trying to make the controls bad. Um, we'll see how well that pull, they pulled that off. Let's go ahead and jump into the game, and we'll, um, I'll show you how you configure it. Um, first, I'll show you how you opt into it. So uh, you have to purchase this on Steam. It's a commercial game. And after you do that, you can open up Steam, and I'll show you how to uh, opt into the uh, beta to get support. OK, so the first thing we need to do is we need to opt into the beta for Surgeon Simulator 2013, which enables you to access the VR features, which are considered experimental. Now I'm going to just right click on Surgeon Simulator in Steam in my library. I'm going to do properties. Then I'm going to click on betas. And then I'm going to, from the beta drop down, select VR, Experimental Oculus Rift and Razer Hydra support. I'm going to click close. And finally, I just wait for a few seconds while it updates. And now it should say Surgeon Simulator 2013 VR. And we're ready to go and jump into the game. All right, we're starting up the game. Bossa Studios UK. Now, I've practiced this quite a bit just to make sure I'm actually able to complete a surgery on camera. It's kind of a difficult game. Surgeon Simulator 2013. It doesn't start up in Rift mode. You have to turn it on. We're actually going to turn on the Razer Hydra first. So here's the experimental options. This only appears if you've opted into the beta the way I told you to. And I'm going to pick up my controllers. And I'm going to push the small buttons when they're on my shoulders. So, like this. And there we go. Now we're calibrated. You can immediately start to feel how kludgy and awkward these hands are, which is how they're intended to be. I think they did a pretty good job of balancing control and awkwardness. Um, and I'm going to turn on my Oculus Rift by pressing that. There we go. Gonna stick it on my head. And we are good to go. So. For whatever reason, so if you push these buttons, you can see that the shoulder button bends these three fingers, the other shoulder button bends your index finger, and if you push one of the buttons, it bends your thumb. So those are the basic controls. The analog stick moves you around. Either analog stick does the same thing. And for whatever reason, the standard like first surgery you're supposed to play in this game um, does not work properly with the Razor Hydra, like the fingers don't do anything. Um, but the one that does is the Team Fortress 2 based surgery, where you are a medic in Team Fortress 2 uh, fighting, uh, trying to do the surgery on a heavy. So we're going to go ahead and drop into that. Alright, here we are. <laughs> uh, this is probably appropriate since Team Fortress 2 happens to be one of the only full games that has Oculus Rift native support. Uh, let's see here. What are we going to do? We have to perform an uber heart transplant. So 
This guy, he's not looking so great. He's got all these bones. I think I think that's the problem. I think the reason he's not doing well is he has all these bones in him. Like, what are those doing there? That can't be helpful. Let's just get rid of these. Just gonna smash. You can uh, you can see the mapping of the hands is not one to one in this game. It's and there's there's kind of some deliberate like uh, some deliberate messing with it to make it feel awkward. And it's also, the, the scale just feels really strange. Like these hands, if I put this hand up to my face, it looks like the size of a small dog. It's kind of enormous. Um, but that's okay. I mean, it's all part of the uh, style. And I'm just going to finish breaking these ribs. I'm doing a terrible job with this. Come on, come on, come on. And you know, when you look at this, you can just think of all the possibilities for like, Great doctors remotely doing surgery on patients without having to fly around the world. Okay, maybe not. This is just actually kind of hilarious. Um, and once I have the bones broken, I should be able to get out those purple things. Let me throw this. I love how easy it is to throw things in this game. You just flick your wrist and let go, and it throws a super long distance. By the way, you can check out all your surroundings. As usual in the rift, you can look in every direction. We have that big light up there, those big fluorescent lights all around the room. And there's just kind of a big spotlight over here. And everything else kind of fades into darkness as you go farther away. There's like an exit sign and a hospital screen. But the rest of the room is, is, quite, is quite empty. Um, okay, I'm going to grab the purple thing. Grabbing the purple thing. Give it to me. Give it to me. Yeah, I got it. I can, like, hold it up to my face. I can't get it too close to my face. That's about as close as I can get it. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I can get it pretty close. I just have to kind of lift it above my head. So it's not a one-to-one -one mapping, like I said. Hey, birdie. Hey, birdie. You want a lung? You want a lung? Have a lung. Have a lung. Okay, well, I guess the bird's not hungry. That's okay. I'm pretty sure these aren't useful for anything, so, I mean, they're just in the way. As long as we're doing this heart surgery, it's it's like we're doing him a favor. We can get rid of these useless things. Uh, come on. Urgh! Yeah, got it out. Along with some bone fragments. That's okay. Okay, I'm just going to drop this in this vat. This vat of suspicious-looking fluid. Excellent. Clear away this bone fragment here. And both the hands work pretty much the same. Just one's on the left, one's on the right. They don't have very different controls. Okay, next we're going to have to get that heart out. To get the heart out, we're going to have to do some cutting. So, what here is the best for cutting? I could break a bottle, but the bottle's kind of hard to use. Um, I'm going to break one anyway, just for fun. Give me the bottle. There. Woo! Whoa, Axe, Axe, where are you going, Axe? Axe! Maybe I could use an axe to cut it. That's a good idea. Okay, well, I can't quite reach that axe, and it's not... Ugh, it's not a precision instrument anyway. Whoa! Okay, that kind of popped out. So I'm actually going to get rid of the axe, and I'm just going to use this pencil. That seems perfect for the kind of precise surgery that I do as a professional. I mean, it's sharp. It's a nice sharp pencil. There we go. Gotta make sure not to knock that electronic thing off the table because it is super important later. Okay, let's see. We gotta be precise here. Gotta be precise. Uh, the doctor at work being extra, extra careful. Caution is the nature of my profession, as you can see. All right, and this pencil I'm just gonna throw over there. Bounce off the refrigerator. Okay, now I got this heart. Heart! I have a human heart. It has these little ventricles. It likes to dance with its ventricles. Dance, 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 dance. Okay. Whee! Whoa, I threw that one pretty far. Right into the dark. Alright. Okay. 
Okay, we need the replacement heart. So we're doing an uber heart replacement, so we need an uber heart. The biggest heart we can find. Let's see what we got in the fridge. You know, they, they taught me in medical school that the hardest part of surgery is opening the fridge. And it's true. It's totally true. Alright, I'm going to lift this arm out of the way. And I'm going to pull it open with... Ah! Arm, get out of the way. And I'm just going to pull with my analog stick. Okay. There we go. I'm going to finish pulling. Alright, got it open. Ooh, is that a sandwich? Can I have that? Can I have the sandwich? No, I can't reach the sandwich. Oh well. I'll eat that later. Gotta finish my work for now. Got a nice big heart. Don't want no little heart. Gonna just drop it in. Now, before we finish, we have to attach this electronic device to that heart. And... in it goes. Do. There we go. That's stuck nice and good. Get your arm out of the way. Seriously. Are you trying to interfere with my work? Is that what you're doing? This is for your own good. Okay. Now the final step, I have to use my medic healing ray on it. So, let's go ahead and I'm just going to grab this between my thumb and forefinger. And very gently and carefully move it towards the patient. I'm a professional, so I do everything carefully. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Grab it. Grab it. Alright. I'm going to move it to the right. To the right, to the right, to the right. I'm in about the right place now. Excellent. Okay, just gonna grab this and kind of move it over this way. Gotta supercharge the heart. Uh, get out of there. All right. Okay, gonna pull that arm out of the way. Oops, oops. Whoa, whoa, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, God. Come back here. I'm not done supercharging the heart. Ah, what's happening? Oh, I was pushing my analog stick by mistake. Okay. I got this. I got this. Just gotta bring the ray back. Bring in the ray back. Bring in the ray back. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. Alright. Now the final step. Just have to get that healing ray, point it at his chest cavity. So I can heal up this giant gaping wound, as well as all of the damage that I did to his body. Oh, uh, no, that way, that way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Are we good? Are we, uh, I think I got it. I think I almost got it. Uh, okay. Just a little bit to the left, a little bit to the left, do, 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 and a little bit up, just a little bit up and to the left, come on. Come on, I think I've almost got this. Alright, a little bit up, a little bit up, just a little bit up, 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 I said up, come on. Okay, this, this gun is kind of hard to control. Ugh. Using my clumsy hands on a clumsy control stick. Okay, let's see if I can kind of move this into position. That's not quite working. Okay. Well, get the heart back in there. We're going to try this one more time. Just got to adjust that control stick. And I should be just about good to go. Come on. Come on. 
This game is really hard. It's it's actually quite difficult. Uh, just to move everything exactly the way you want to. It's really frustrating, actually. Uh, push it up to the left. To the left. To the left. Uh, come on. Come on. Just about got it. Come on. Come on. Okay, I think that's just about in the right position. And I'm gonna kind of hold this up to it. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. No, it's reopening. It's reopening. Oh boy. I was so close. So close. And... I did it! Woohoo! Surgery complete! Excellent. So, he's all better now. I'm an excellent surgeon, as you can tell. I mean, it's not like I have to explain that. I'm just going to come out of the game for a minute and talk about it. Now, what I really like about this game is um, they, they were tasked with the seemingly impossible task of taking controls that are designed to give you a one-to-one -one smooth feeling that you're directly in control of your hands and to make you feel like you're only sort of in control of your hands and I think they did a pretty good job of giving you that feeling in this game like I felt like I was able to move my hand from one place to another I was able to get it done but it wasn't a direct mapping there was some amount of like flopping around and trying to figure out exactly how to get my hands where I need them to be so I think they kind of replicated the mouse experience with the Hydra pretty effectively. Um, there were definitely times, like, the first few times I played it, I wasn't sure what to do. And, like, I don't know how I was supposed to know to attach that electronic thing to the heart. I don't know how I was supposed to know which heart to use. Um, but but I, I just, I love the experience of being there in the rift, of, like, seeing the body down in front of you. It all feels huge. Um... Like I said, scale is something of an issue there because your hands look enormous. They look like the size of puppies. But, I mean, it kind of, it kind of fits with the aesthetic of the Team Fortress 2 characters. Um, and, and, like, there's so many tools you can play with and, and you can use both hands at the same time. And I, I think it opens up a lot of poss possibilities compared to the original game. Um, if, I, if I wanted to see additional things added to this, I, I think I would... I mean, it's a tough call. I don't, I don't know exactly what a game like this needs. I think one thing would just be to have like more things in the environment. Like right now, the environment, especially in the main game, is super, super sparse. It's just like empty gray space all around you. I think it would be cool. Like it would be in the spirit of the game, just to have an environment where there's like humorous things occasionally happening around you. Um, other than that, um, let me see. Um, I think they could always, you know, they could always have more fun tools. Um, this this particular stage didn't have like a drill or the ability to like uh, stab yourself and hallucinate, which would have been fun. Um, but the um, but uh, so the other stages work with the Oculus Rift, as far as I know. They just don't seem to work quite right with the Razor Hydros. The buttons don't make the fingers close. Um, so if you just have an Oculus Rift, you can go ahead and try out those those um, those other stages and see what they like see what they're like i'd like to get your impressions on them um and that's um that's all i think i have for this game so definitely if you have an oculus rift or a razor hydro check it out either one works fine independently or together and if you have any questions about this experience let me know um you can buy the game on steam i'll provide a link in the description and that's all for today everybody have a great every day